Good morning, wonderful, amazing, sweet, and lovely people. How y'all doing today? Hope y'all having an amazing day today. Hope you let somebody steal your joy. Welcome to Bram's Joyful Life. Today is a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys are so amazing. Yeah. Welcome to Bram's Joyful Life, everybody. Look who I have here. I have my sweet Zozo. We're taking out of school. We already dropped off Le'Veon. Now it's Zozo's turn to be taken to school. So it's a beautiful day, y'all. While wow, this stop light, waiting on the light to change, yeah. it's gonna be a second for us. Because when we first got here, our light was just changing into yellow, red, and we couldn't go through because somebody was ahead of us and they went through. But yeah, hope you guys are having a good day today. Thank you for all your support. You guys are awesome and amazing. Grateful for each and every one of you. Completely grateful. And I turned on the camera right now because I wanna encourage somebody out there. I wanna encourage you. Things are going to get better. Everything is going to turn. I promise you. You may seem like it's so hard right now. You don't know how you're going to get out of it. But I promise you something good is coming. You're going to get out of it. Your muscles are growing, baby. And it hurts when it is. But don't lose sight of what it is that you want. Hold on to that picture. That image of what it is you want. Your freedom. Your joy. Your peace. Hold on to it. You may be going through the fire right now. But I'm telling you, it's not going to burn you. It's only purging you. <clears throat> It's removing all of the junk that shouldn't be there in the first place. All right? You're building muscles, baby. Muscles, muscles, muscles. I promise your life is going to get better. Don't ever give up. Don't give up. Do not give up. No matter what, don't give up. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and all of your strength. In all thy ways, lean not unto thine own understanding. Surrender to the Lord. And I promise you, God is going to come through for you. No matter what the situation is, it's going to get better. No matter what it is, it will get better. It will get better. But you got to trust. You can't give up now. You've come too far to give up. You've come too far to give up. Your success is not determined by the people who left you, or people who lied against you, or people who don't believe in you. The Bible says you are the head, you're not the tail, you are the top, you're not the bottom. You are a child of God. Everything always works out in your favor. <clears throat> God bless you, Zoe. I just want to remind you of who you are and whose you are. You're a child of God. You didn't create yourself. God created you. It doesn't matter what circumstance led to your birth. All that matters is you are here. And God, who made it possible for you to be here, even right now, he's working everything out in your favor. Even the Bible says, all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord. All things are working together for my good, for your good. I promise you it's going to get better, no matter what it is. Favor is yours now. The favor of God is, is with you and for you. You just got to speak the word. Activate your body by speaking and declaring. As I'm speaking over you right now, I know you're feeling the strength and the encouragement. You also, you also have to learn to say that over yourself and speak that over yourself as well. I promise you. You didn't turn on this video by mistake. God is for you. God is working every situation out. You can't give up. You can't allow the enemies win. You can't focus on what's not working out. You got to keep your focus on God and trust in Him. Trust in the Lord. Just speak the word. Don't allow yourself to speak the language of whatever it is that you're going through. <clears throat> Don't do that. Say, Father, I thank you because this is working out in my favor. It may seem like it's not ideal. It's not the ideal situation. It may seem like it's not working out in my favor. But I declare that it is working out in my favor. Everything is turning in my favor. And you're going to find out that it is, actually. Because God is for you. <clears throat> The Bible says, weeping men endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Your joy is coming, and this is the morning hour for your joy. You tuned into this message because this is the morning hour for your joy. God just wants me to tell you that your time has come. This is your season. This is your moment. Celebration is bringing forth in your life and in your situation celebration this is confirmation for some of you you've been waiting on confirmation god spoke to you about a dream god gave you a vision and you've been waiting on confirmation here is your confirmation this is the hour this is the moment start celebrating start rejoicing start singing because god is for you god is for you he's not against you god is for you and not against you 
everything is working out in your favor. God is bringing the right people into your life. People who will love you. People who will appreciate you. People who will accept you for who you are. People who will show you love and who will stand by you. The right people. God often removes the wrong people out of our lives. And when God is doing that, it doesn't, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. It sucks. It feels hard. Especially when you have so much emotional connection with those people and trusted them. But something happened that they're falling out of your life and nothing is... You know you didn't do anything intentionally wrong. But it just seems as though they're just falling out of your life and leaving for no reason. And you're wondering what is going on. When God wants to do something new, whatever old thing is sitting in the space for that something new it has to be removed the bible says old things are passed away behold all things have become new so the old things have to be removed and it's not easy it's just like sandpaper when you're sandpapering um a piece of wood you're taking off the old stuff and revealing the beautiful stuff so in your case that's pretty much what is going on it sucks it's hard it even hurts the hand of the carpenter sandpapering the um, the wood. But at the end of the day, it reveals the beautiful furniture, a piece of beautiful furniture that every one of us want, we admire and love. It's the same thing as you. You're going through your sandpapering pruning moment where God is beautifying you. And in order to do that, the things that are not beautiful in your life, God is exposing and removing. That's why you're feeling the way you're feeling. You just start rejoicing and dancing. Because even in the midst of that, God is... Don't miss the blessing, y'all. Don't miss the blessing. Because God is bringing and replacing. He's replacing the old with the new. So you just got to... You got to get ready, you guys. You got to get ready. You can't allow yourself to get caught in the midst of it. And feel like it's over. It's not over. It's a new season. It's a new season. Y'all, I feel like I'm flowing in the spirit. A lot of you guys were like, wow, this is what I just want to hear. I can hear it. It's a new season. That's what God is speaking through me right now. It's a new season. God is doing something wonderful. Look at the way My gosh. But it's a new season, y'all. I just want to encourage you this morning. I feel it in my spirit. God is doing something new. It may not feel like it right now, but it's working out in your favor. Something greater than you've ever seen before something greater than you've ever seen before is happening it's happening get ready god is going to remove the people who can't stand it because sometimes the things that god wants to do in our lives other people perceive it before we do and for people who do not want us to have these things they feel threatened and they want to do things to agitate us and make us feel small you know what i mean but you can't allow yourself to be distracted by people who are jealous of the blessing of God on your life. You may feel like there's no blessing on your life, but baby, the reason why you're going through the hell you're going through is because of the blessing on your life. You can't allow the hell to break you. You gotta prove to the hell that you're stronger than the hell. Because the Bible says you are more than a conqueror through Christ. Now you gotta get under the covering of Christ, baby. You can't do it by yourself. If that's the Lord Jesus Christ, I call on you, just help me. I get under your covering today. I am covered with the blood of Jesus. Fill my heart with you and your presence. Let your spirit fill my body, fill my mind, fill my soul. Have your way and guide me and do this new thing that you are doing in my life. Perfect it. Anything and anyone that is not supposed to be a part of it that wants to pull me down. Lord, I give you permission to prune them out. Take them away and replace them. Replace, replace, replace. You just speak the word and just give God the right of way because we have free will to accept what God wants to do or to reject it. And God's not going to force us to accept the good He wants to do. But we just got to be willing and open and let God have His way. Let God have His way. Everything that happens in your life, God can use it for His glory. In order for you to benefit from it, participate in it, you got to be willing to let go can't keep fighting the old and wanting the old to stay no just welcome the new and say god you can take away what you need to take away replace it with what you want to put because god never lets anything bad happen without replacing it with something better and even more wonderful than what you think you've lost god never ends in a deficit and we got to keep our mindset on that thought god never ends in a deficit god will always show up in a big way and I'm praying that God shows up for you in a big way today. 
that the favor of God that you've never seen before, that you see it, that you experience the peace we surpass it all understanding. That's what I'm praying for you. That's what I feel in my spirit. I just wanted to encourage you today. God is for you. God is with you. Everything is working out in your favor. You just you just get ready. All right, get ready. That's the, that's it. Get ready. Get ready. It's not it's not a curse. It's a blessing, y'all. Whatever it is that's going on, it's not a curse. It's a blessing. God is removing the old and bringing in the new. That's exactly what God is doing. So much that God wants to do in your life. But it takes removing the things that are blocking the way. So whatever you're going through that is not pretty right now is because God is removing the old and bringing in the new. All right? Comment below and let me know what it is. Well, you don't have to get to get get into details as to what God is removing, but just 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 comment a gratitude um, comment. Father, I give you thanks for bringing in the new. It's commented below. So, yeah, that's that's the word for today, y'all. That's the word for today. It's not. It's a new season of rejoicing. It's a new season of rejoicing. All right. Thank you all for watching. You guys are awesome and amazing. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you thumbs up, you subscribe. Your comment is in the in the comment section below and let me know. Let me just just comment something. Gratitude. Gratitude comment. Lord, I thank you. Just something. Thanks. Give thanks in the comment below. All right. Thank you all so much. You guys are awesome and amazing. And thank you to those of you who have supported my online fundraiser for the docu series to Nigeria. I appreciate every one of you. For those of you who want to support it, check the description box below for the link and be a part of it. So thank you all so much. You guys are awesome and amazing. Have a great day. Zoe, what do you want to say? Bye. Bye. <laughs> you already know, this was photobombing right there, making faces in the video. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, bye, everybody. Out with the old, in with the new. That's the word. That's the word.